you know, um, one of the things that, you know, some people may not like, and then you got some people that's going to be like, say it, the rest of say it, you know, but in our reality, I just, I say how I feel, basically. Um, and I give my personal opinion. I'm not saying this is how things are supposed to go, you know, but this is how I was taught things were supposed to go, you know? So, I'm going to start off with her having eight kids as a single mom. Do shit happens, yes. But is it supposed to happen eight times? As a single mom? Like... When is enough enough, especially if you know that you can't afford the first two or even the first one? But we make it, we make things happen. We make it work. But is it fair to the kids? Is it fair to the kids that we can't go to Disneyland because you can't get, what, eight, nine, ten flights for all of us to go? You can't afford to get a big old bus van? For all of us to get in and go. But if you would have stopped that two or one, it would have been like clockwork. Even three. Clockwork, possibly. It all depends on your situation. If you got eight kids and you don't have to worry about nothing, your kids ain't got to worry about nothing, you're able to provide for them. you able to make sure that you got food on the table for them. You don't have to ask nobody for nothing. Really? And I'm not saying that you can't get food stamps. I ain't even saying that. But when you sit there and know that you have no, no worries at all. Do I know her situation? No. I don't know her situation. But I do know there's people out there that's like that. That are just like what I just explained. And they keep having kids, keep having kids, keep having kids. And these men, you keep impregnating them, keep impregnating them, keep impregnating them. You knew she had seven kids before you gave her that eighth one. Being, y'all being careless. It has to stop. Now, family members, Got to take care of eight kids. We don't know how many kids our sister had. But she don't want to separate them. She don't want them to go places where somebody beat them, messed with them, and touched on them, and tried to kill them. Yes, it's way too many birth control options in 2022, BG. You are right. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to act like Altonil or Demesis. You know, when I, when I get to that, when I get to, you see that? When I get to me, mm -hmm. Tanil comes out. But for real though, I'm just telling you, God bless me. God has truly blessed me. But that don't mean I'm naive or I'm crazy or I'm stupid. You know what I'm saying? I realize stuff. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure this shit out. It just don't. She should not have left eight kids behind to try to figure out what they gonna do because mama ain't here. Is that her fault fight that she got shot? Hell no, it ain't her fault. But this woman, they just said she don't have a job. She's making food and selling candy. Eight kids? If she can, and I ain't trying to be mean, I ain't trying to be funny, but if she can take care of eight kids with candy and food and not have a job, I had to hit the table because that means I could definitely take care of my two with candy and food. And we would live lavish. Okay? Now, I'm not all, I'm, I gotta make things clear. I'm not saying something's wrong with making, eating, um, selling candy and making food. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is this. When 
we're when we're together i mean not together lord it's yeah it's a lot of noise i'm here and i'm sorry and it threw me off <laughs> but when you have a big family like that you want to make sure that you're able to spend time with each child you know what i'm saying you have to make sure that each child get their own undivided attention because our kids is different they all ain't the same bg said use a condom iud shot pill foam spray surgery and a plan b you'll be all right you got pregnant on purpose no accidents these days in most situations and she's right i tell everybody i got pregnant